Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This morning we are making a slow cooker buffalo chicken pasta. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need one and a half pounds of chicken. You're going to need one and a half cups of um, hot sauce, three cups of chicken broth. You're gonna need some ranch seasoning. Onion powder, or not onion powder, sorry, garlic powder, celery seed, and cream cheese. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna dump and go. So I'm gonna put my chicken pieces in the slow cooker. And if you guys wanna know how to make this recipe, you guys know where to go. I've had a lot of you guys request that I make this recipe, so I'm making it for you guys. Okay. So the chicken fits perfectly in the slow cooker. Now, since these are not frozen, I'm gonna cook this on low. Actually, you know what? Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna do, so we're gonna cook this for six hours until the chicken is full part tender. And then later tonight, I'll show you what our chicken, what it's going to look like. Because we're going to add pasta to it. Remember, in this, remember how I said in the beginning how it's a slow cooker chicken pasta dish? Alright, we're going to add, we're going to add all of our seasonings before we add in like the liquid and all that goodness. So not really mixing it in it just lightly. Just all over. Um, now, of course, you can add your liquid at this point, but there's really not... I really know how you do it, but I just figured we'd add our liquid. Or I figured we'd add our seasoning first before we add our liquid. And we will get this mixed in together. I will come in with some hands and mix it up after I add in all the ingredients. And then we're going to add in some cream cheese. And then, last but not least, we're going to add in our chicken broth. So remember, it's three cups of chicken broth. And I've had a lot of you guys ask me to make this recipe. So just pour the chicken broth over everything. And I know it looks very soupy at this point, but that's kind of what you want. Because what you, you need this liquid. You need you need the liquid to, to um, cook the pasta. Otherwise, if you don't have any liquid in here, it's going to dry out. You're going to dry it out. You don't want to do that. So I'm going to come in here with my hands and kind of mix the whole thing together. And I'm gonna cook it for six hours until the chicken is full part tender. And so you can start to smell it. Now, what you wanna do, you wanna make sure that your chicken breast is thawed out. Now if you, if you, um, if you have chicken but it's frozen, you can still do it that way too. You can still put the chicken in the slow cooker and cook it on. You can still cook it for six hours frozen, but we just decided just to cook it, ours thawed out. So ours is nice and thawed. And the cream cheese will melt in the slow cooker as this is cooking on it. So we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so I got it all mixed in. And like I, like I said, it really doesn't matter how it looks. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute what, gonna, what this looks like. I'm gonna wash my hands. I just kinda get in there, especially you can. I'm gonna wash my hands. And I'm going to show you guys what this looks like before we go into the next step. Now, this recipe is a very, very simple, easy sort of recipe to make. It's not really that hard. It's so simple to make. Anybody can really make it. And if you guys, now, if you guys love my buffalo chicken slider video that we did, like, I don't even know how many months ago that was. You guys, I know you guys are going to love this recipe. Okay, so I'm going to take this out and show you what it looks like. Okay, so that's going over there, please. So this is basically what your, I'm going to move back a little bit. This is basically what your chicken should look like. You see that? It's all mixed in together. All the buffalo sauce is in there. We got our chicken broth. We have our ranch. All the seasonings in there. It's done. So now... I'm going to, I'm going to cover it up. And 
I am going to let this cook for six hours until our chicken is nice and tender and until it pulls apart. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I'll be back in six hours to show you what it looks like. Alright, bye. Vlog on. Peace out. Boom. Okay. Bye, guys.